Hello everybody, I'm super excited to let you know about my upcoming workshop, Tarot for Soul Guidance. This is different than standard tarot divination, where you're not really sure who's pulling the cards. I'm gonna teach everybody how to connect to their soul, how to be guided by their soul. I'll even teach you how to do clearing processes so you know who's guiding you. I'm going to take you through a system that I developed that combines numerology, symbology, tarot, and many other systems all amalgamated into one approach. And I will be teaching it at a level that anybody can understand and begin with in a two-day workshop, which we will also have available as a webcast so you can attend from anywhere in the world. So an example of the kind of work I'll be teaching will be to teach you, for example, this is the Fool, Major Arcana Zero, which is the beginning of the journey. The tarot cards describe a journey that the soul goes through. So tarot zero, the fool, zero is unconditional love or God or source. And so this represents the beginning of the journey of God or source as an individual experiencing itself in relationship. So it's experiencing itself in relationship to other, I, you say this is my body, relationship to self, and in relationship to source. So the journey begins with the fool, and the fool enters into life, and all the other major arcana talk about the experiences that the fool will engage in order to be conscious that it is actually source and soul embodied. So one of the Examples of the fool, if you pull the, that card in a draw, your soul guide you to it, you see that the picture is of a androgynous being, could be male, could be female. Unconditional love is not sexed, it's not polarized to either direction, or it would be in the duality of male-female relationships. But you see that the fool is traveling light, has its dog, which represents its own conscious ego with it, and is dancing on the edge of a cliff, has a flower in one hand, and is saying, hey, live light, don't get too bogged down, don't overthink things, be free of the ego to trust your heart, but also the dog barking at him, saying, hey, you're next to a cliff, means respect your conscious awareness, and what you've learned from other people and that you have individuality as well. This is a very deep card. It's probably the deepest of all the cards because it really is the birth canal through which the tarot is born and it is the return that is represented as the yoni in uh, Tarot 21, the world. My birthday just happens to make me a 22 in tarot, which means I am the fool and the emperor, and I really love the fool because it's my reminder to not take life too seriously, get bogged down, and to live in love fully. So that's just a small sample of many things I will teach you in the workshop to truly enhance your depth of connection with your soul and your ability to find your way through life beautifully.